A stream from the future? I beg your pardon? Also, hey, Delta. I should probably do the thing, shouldn't I? Actually, this seems pretty solid as it is. Yeah, game looks Halloween-y. Yeah, I know, right? It's surprising, isn't it? Hey, sorry. So I'm just going to be honest. I took a break from Jack 2, and that break just made me realize more and more that I just don't want to play Jack 2. I might go back to it, but... I just wasn't having fun. So... I'm going to try this. Um, I've had this recommended to me by a few people. Some people have said it's very good. And it's on sale right now. So I thought, hey, why not? Oh, shit. You got a spooky skin. Anyway, let's... Let's give this uh, Halloween in February game a shot. Oh, that was a spooky stinger. Once upon a time, in the great Arkansil Kingdom, the world lived in peace and coexistence. Between the humans, the animals, the birds, even the cute little bunny rabbits. It was an age of prosperity without anything to fear of war, famine, catastrophe. It was so boring. Very boring. Yep. So boring, in fact, that even the devil himself was bored brainless. The devil dreamed of bloodshed, pestilence, suffering on a cosmic scale. So, he devised a plan to make things in Arkansas a little more entertaining. The devil unleashed the curse of the eternal night. A powerful spell that conjured mindless, soulless, heartless monsters across the world. The monsters lay waste to every city, every home, every leaky outhouse, and backwater <laughs> town in the kingdom. It was beautiful, but for some reason, the humans quite enjoyed their safe, boring little lives. They couldn't handle a few pesky monsters coming in and tearing them all limb from limb. Oh, I wonder why. So, they called upon the champion. The mighty wizard. A sorcerer with the skill and intellect to break the curse and usurp the devil's The mighty wizard wearing slippers? The wizard departed his luxurious tower in his studies to find the power he needed to break the curse of the eternal As night. always, keep me informed on the audio if it's overpowering me. The devil said, two can play that game. And who knows, this might be the fun I've been looking for. So in response to the wizard's quest, he called upon a champion of his own. Stingy Jack, <laughs> history's greatest trickster and con artist, banished to wander the world as a wayward spirit. The devil crammed Jack's soul into the skin of a pumpkin and made him a deal. The devil would forgive Jack's past misdeeds and grant him passage to the afterlife. And in return, he gave Jack one simple mission. Find the wizard and destroy him. Already getting some medieval vibes off of this. Which I approve of. <laughs> hey. Pumpkining before offering a deal seems kind of rude. I mean, a deal is any deal is probably a good deal when you have no leverage, right? Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, how rude, Satan. You dropped us into a pumpkin patch. He controls well. That's a good sign. Wait, does he auto clamber? A little bit. Interesting. All right. So yeah, starting off with good controls and a platformer, that's a good sign. Again, by the way, audio, if it's... I have my music turned all the way up because I'm, I'm digging the music, but I don't know how it's coming out on your side. So, please do tell me. Anyway, how's it going, everybody? Sorry I missed, like, a week. Hi, Mr. Owl. <laughs> I want to know what the owl's name is. Ooh. Yeah, I actually had, um... Last night I stepped on a shard of glass and that was not fun digging out. I love the fact that his pants... I love the fact that his body is just like... He's a scarecrow. He's just stuck together with wood and rope and I love it. His design is very fun. <laughs> Orientation. Okay, so there's a center of the camera button. That's always good. Especially... Oh! Oh! We start off with the best thing. Oh, yeah. 10 out of 10 game. Yeah, I hope you get the splinter out. They are not fun. You seem out of place, good sir. I love the atmosphere so far. Drink from the cauldrons. Okay, so that's how you gain health. Okay. It eludes your vision. Oh no. I was going to say something, but then I immediately regretted it and stopped myself. This is my favorite kind of tutorial. Also, I see you there. Imagine if real life worked this way. Okay, it must be uh, 20 bird skulls in this level. Because I can't imagine there'd be 20 in the entire game, and we've already had three. <laughs> I 
New checkpoint. Still don't have an attack or anything. Wouldn't want to be pumpkined. I'd like my head not to rot away in a month. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> Please enjoy our Halloween game in February. Um, I will be playing a boxing game of some sort for Easter. real bad this year and I don't even know why it's like I most of the province didn't even allow for trick-or-treating but people still like went over the top with decorating I guess if you're cooped up in the apartment or the house or whatever for so long kind of want to do something I get it Oh my. Highly discouraged. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what to say about what's going on here. We're not really getting as much attention as America because, like, we're not as loud as them. But I think right now we might be doing worse. That is a red crow, and he looks angry. Well, maybe he's just... Okay. Did that just say COVID creeps? When does Canada ever get the spotlight? Uh, Winter Olympics, that's about it. At the mercy of a crow. To the straw-faced menace. I really hope it's not like a living scarecrow that's like, r like doing rounds or anything. It's just a stationary, just like a normal. <laughs> oh hey, that's cool.
Oh, I like the noise that happens when you get a gramophone. This is Fortnite. No. This was made by a small studio. And it definitely didn't become the biggest game on the planet. Hey, a well. I wonder if we can go inside of it. It would appear not. So currently our only attack is Mr. Bird here. Which is interesting. A Fortnite. Oh, okay. Shovel! Hell yeah! Okay, so I can't do like a quick spin. I've been playing a lot of Zelda stuff. I wanted to do a quick spin. firewood with the shovel. Anyway, we were supposed to be doing something for this bird. Um, wait, is the bird, like, just chucking shards of glass or something at him? That's definitely what it looks like. Interesting. Oh, okay, so double jump uh, attack leads to a ground pound. Another bird skull. Okay, I can't go up that way. Not really surprising. That's just health, okay. Break everything, Jack! Uh, Delta, any hel any uh, luck so far finding your your overall team in King of Fighters? Not really. Yeah, know that feeling. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Get the ghost. Oh, enemies! Okay, so attacking doesn't... In Dark Souls terms, they've got force, so... Attacking doesn't knock them out of their animations. Who are you? Aside from ugly. You look like a monster to me. Yeah, I saw the meterless damage and I'm frightened. Of course, I'm a salesman. That makes sense. <laughs> I heart. <laughs> oh, 
They're literal skins. Very cute. Very cute. I was actually um, considering doing um, King of Fighters ranked matches and just letting Sari choose my team. Because it worked so well when I played Marvel Infinite. It actually worked pretty well. The Cowboy, the Samurai, the Inspector, the Skeleman. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try the Lumber. Oh shit, yeah! I'm Lumberjack-O-Lantern! Like that all being said, I kind of love this skin. So next time we see each other, I might change skins, but for now, I'm, I'm good with just being good old Pumpkin Jack. <laughs> so yeah, that's the only currency seems to be the uh, bird skulls, which makes sense. I shouldn't break that stuff if I need it later. A lot of health from each of those little bubbles though. Yeah, your team building in Marvel Infinite was surprisingly solid. Turnips are far more menacing a vegetable than pumpkins. Hmm. I like how the first level is like just understanding that hey you might be getting used to the mechanics here are like all of the heals. I do think turnips are rather off-putting. For whatever that's worth. <laughs> also, it could mean your slide attack would be called a nip slip. That is a very unsorry joke. I'm well done. This game is going to have fall damage. Can you have fall damage if your character doesn't have any knees? This is the question I've been... This is the question I've been resorted to asking. Is that an enemy or... No, that's an enemy. That ain't no bird skull for me. Actually, no, this one is a bird skull. I wish they were different colors, ideally. Like, the enemies could be green or something. But then that it would confuse with health. It seems like you can only get health from breaking shit. I don't know.
Oh, they can hit each other. That's a fun development. <laughs> yes, I have seen what a pumpkin does with any form of gravity against it. It's not pretty. But this guy would be landing on his feet. Well, at least his boots. I'm pretty sure there's no feet in there. But pumpkins should be wearing bicycle helmets at all times. I agree with this just for the visual. He's booping me. Art channel is booping me. Yeah, that's fair. A new body isn't needed here? Hop out in my body? <laughs> okay. Ah, I love it. I mean, I hate it, but I love it. Oh, I can't jump that. No, never mind. I can totally jump that high. I just have to jump twice. I, I love little head crab jack. Eh. Oh, whoops. Oh, I see. Puzzle solution via tentacle. We are in a crash boon decoot. Fuck you, trophy name. Fuck you. I think I hear another crow skull or bird skull. I guess those are synonyms in the longs, you know, in our long run, but. Is there something up there? Audio cues are very good. Oh, I was hoping I could break through that rope. Oh well. Can't have everything. Life is just sometimes unfair. I love this music so far, by the way. It's just so... It's very nostalgic for whatever reason. It's like I'm watching a Christmas special. Or, not a Christmas special. Halloween special. friend says no to your mice hole. <laughs> I 
Don't think I was supposed to make that, but I'll take it. Huh, the bird skull is under. I wasn't expecting low. Oh god, they're everywhere. This one's probably high. That's an enemy, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. You still alive? Good. Ah. Oh, music's getting going. Skeleton. Take that, Skeleton. Okay, those are breakable, so I'm not going to push them to get a new platform. Can I make that jump? Doesn't look like it. Looks like the next room is needed. Humanity's champion, the wizard. <laughs> Jesus Christ. most unsanitary of collectible. Jesus Christ is also a champion for humanity, you are right. Well, I mean, I'll take the credit. Do you want me to make that? This song's a little bit of a banger once it gets started up. Okay, once we just go around, that makes a lot of sense. over a candle or something. You did it. I don't have a nose, dumbass.
Actually, the burning barn in a Halloween area is a crash, uh, crash team racing trap. <laughs> it's a trap. I loved that section. Speaking of Mario Kart, I don't know if I've streamed since the Direct, but holy shit. Lots more Mario Kart coming. I wish I could stream it. I like that game a lot. Mario Kart 8 is just... It's perfect at what it does. Hell yeah! Scarecrow. Oh god, he's got an axe in his head. He's just as menacing as always. Sorry, flee, flee, flee. Jesus! The Scarecrow has artillery! Hell yeah! It has scarecrownies. Very, you're on fire today. Ooh, a hook. <laughs> Are you just waiting for a stream to unleash your puns and your wordplay? That one's more of a portmanteau. Stingy though. Jack, the genius trickster who could fool even the devil himself, has returned to the mortal realm. Armed with a brand new body and his soul cruelly bound to a festering pumpkin, Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the owl, and commandeered the services of a cowardly crow to fight on his behalf. But there must be no more time for fun and games. Jack and his companions of the night must embark upon their quest to slay the wizard. With Jack now perfectly attuned to his new vessel, the owl leads him to the mountains in the distance. For at the heart of the mountain, through a network of ancient mines, lies a powerful secret. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, VA start. Oh shit! It functions differently from the shovel as well. Well, somewhat. It's got the same basic moves, but the on-ground attacks are different. Seem more focused on one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Maybe the owl is just a. Uh, Open inventory. Oh. Okay. That must mean that 
these weapons are going to have. I was going to say maybe it means that they have different abilities, but I don't know. Maybe just like the way they attack. Look at that owl. He doesn't look particularly not Satan-y. I shall hop to it. Owls look evil. They can't do anything about that. Yeah, but that owl in particular looks very evil. Um... Yep, that sure is Luong's level 3 on Mary. Poor Mary? Question mark? Oh, wait a minute. It's a little bit of a... Well, kind of. I don't think that's what its uh, main purpose is. Let's go! Oh, goodness. Hi there. Yeah, that one kind of sounds very evil. Wait a minute, I can... I can break the snowman, maybe? They didn't do anything, but I feel like he's not in the right game. to do? It's starting to look no. Oops, I fell. That jump is probably makeable. Is this one? Maybe. If I got the perfect, uh... Nah, doesn't look like it. This seems ill-advised. Who would store fire in a barrel on a wooden construction? I mean, the monsters have claimed that they are pretty brainless. It doesn't look like there's a way around. Well, maybe. I want whatever that is over there. But if I can't get it, I can't get it. Combat depth of, uh, of a ruby beat him up. Ah, what the fuck? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so that lantern wasn't fiery enough. Noted? Okay, so this is the way we're supposed to be going, therefore... Jump, isn't it? No, it's actually not too bad. Hi, ghosties. That's a good question. Probably because Satan took over the world. Be my bet. Whoa, there's a gap there. Rude. Ah, there's a skeleton hole. None of that, thank you. autocorrects or whatever. Like, odd phone or in-game in dictionaries refuse to learn something that you use a lot. Ready for some cardio. Oh. Interesting. Oh, okay. Is it... I'm glad that this bomb apparently has an infinite fuse. It's very helpful for me. Spooky mini golf. A little bit, yeah. Or gravity shall not apply. Bomberman! Okay, that's a trophy name I can get behind. Mm, 
no, whatever the fuck that is. Oh my. I really wish the N64 Bomberman games were released on, like, something current, but Konami is a bunch of assholes, because those three Bomberman games are so much fun. And I think they were, like, my introduction to puzzle platformers. This malfeasance is going to your honor with your report. Jack, you madman, let's go. Oh boy. Uh huh, we have another game where I'm doing a minecart level. Oh god. This is very rareware sounding music, isn't it? That was way too early, but it still somehow worked. I don't think that's how turning works. That was fun. It is a 2D demolition game, but the N64 games were more puzzle platformers than um, classic Bomberman. And they were a lot of fun. But again, like, Konami's Konami. Invisible wall keeping me there? Okay. That's fine. Nope, 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 nope. You stop that right this instant, bird. And fire was lit. Also, fuck the table. Wants me to get up there, which I cannot currently. Pokey stick, and I am not afraid to use it. I have not found that many in this level yet.
god, I hear so many bird skulls. Can't go that way just yet. Weirdly. Jack just disoriented there? Is Jack afraid of heights? Makes sense, he's a pumpkin. Does that make sense? I feel like the thing that you just said doesn't make much sense. He's not freaking out now. Maybe he just doesn't like small platforms. To which I agree. a pretty good point. Ah, gramophone. do, but I like them. And they're also collectibles. Seems like a nice fellow. <laughs> that death guy seems swell. Ah, 
Ow. Disagree that that hit me, but whatever. Cage seems particularly weird to me. <laughs> Hell yeah, platforming. Don't touch the carts because don't touch the carts. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty safe bet, bird. Oh my, that's a lot of carts. Should probably not touch the carts. got another minecart coming up. Maybe? Yep, looks like it. If you just miss one of those, it's just kaput. That's good to know. Little things coming in front of me. Same exact one, I just didn't see it. Fuck, eyes, stop it, wake up! <laughs> this doesn't seem too hard, I just missed the jump twice. Like, not even missed the jump, I didn't see it.
Ah, I thought that was too early. Keep. Oh fuck, my eyes want to stay open. I know I'm a bit sick right now, but this is not good. This is what happens when you get like seven hours of sleep in three days. It's not healthy. Supposed to be destroying the fire. But I did not realize until. Ah! That is fire! Sorry, Mr. Snowman. Seems so. He does seem like a boss. Bosses need killing. If I survive that long. I'm just kind of drifting in and out of paying attention because I'm kind of dozing off, which is not a good sign for this game. Like, it's not that I'm... I'm enjoying this game a lot so far, it's just also... 
my body is deciding now is the time that, uh... Yeah, you're gonna run out of energy completely. So, like, I'm in the middle of a fight, and all of a sudden I'm being burned alive because... Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have streamed today, but I wanted to try this out. I'm glad I did. It's fun. It's also moody in the best kind of way. Or at least the most enter entertaining kind of way. I don't think we're going to get all 20 of them in this boat. Ow, fuck you. Help, please. Goodness, it's everywhere. And you know, it falls in right here. Fire indeed hot. Thank you for uh, filling me in on that. Maybe if I sit up uh, straight on my sore fucking tailbone, I'll stay awake a bit more. So gravity all of a sudden is a factor. I see how you play. That's fine. Oh my. Uh, yeah, okay. I kind of love this segment. Like, it's it's nothing I haven't seen before in, in one sense or another. But I like the atmosphere of this area, but I also love the fact that I'm just... I'm just a pumpkin. A pumpkin slowly moving a bomb around. And that's nifty as hell to me. Um, wait, where did this get lost along the way? The answer is there. It's a uh... go, my pumpkin friend. Go. Uh, da, 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 da. Off you go. Ah, I've been lied to, which is a problem. Kaboom. Let's just ignore the fact that a pumpkin would have also been exploded in that mess. Rules are rules. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that Delta. It looks cool. And I'm always I'm always game to support indie indie fighters. save that so if I die I don't gotta do it again. Also there's another bird. There's actually two more birds. We might get all twenty. But I'm still pretty sure that we are this one. Oh god. 
really wish the bird's cooldown was a bit quicker. is doing well. I, I would hope so. They advertised it phenomenally. The game looks good. The game sounds good. The game plays good. The game has a very large roster for modern day video or modern day launch fighting games. It's got a roadmap of DLC clearly played out or um, clearly um, laid out rather. It's got good online like it's got everything you need, and I hope that that's enough to get some attention from places that might not normally look at a fighting game. That being said, though, I, I worry about it because compared to other stuff that have been out there, like Mortal Kombat, Marvel, even Street Fighter V out there, to a certain extent, um, and even Dragon Ball, um, <laughs> KOF is hard. Now, I don't even think it's very hard for the motions or anything. I just think learning three characters is daunting. Oh, okay, Ride of the Valkyries. Spooky ride of the Valkyries, no less. Those are fun segments. Oh, looks like we're fighting the Grim Reaper. Okay, how are we gonna do this? Oh, that's a familiar pattern. Fuck, this is Bomberman! This music is sick. I love it. What? Okay, gotta use the shovel. What was that loading scene? Uh, you'd have three pennies. I've died three times, I get it. Okay. 
Yeah, this theme is going in, isn't it? the missiles. Oh god, there's not enough room. Ah, I was not expecting. Good night, sorry. Sorry I didn't see that. Yeah, I think I got... Yeah, 19 of 20. I missed one! That's fine. I think I missed that at the beginning of the level. It's no biggie. Hi. Commendable display, Jack. Oversized butter knife. And I like you already. Aww. 
Yes, that chap. <laughs> I may be evil and I may work for the devil, but you, sir, are a jerk. Okay, we got a sword. Is it a sword that we don't even swing? Is it just a sword that swings for us? Do we have a psionic sword? Great Jack, master of trickery, finally has had the tables turned on him. Upon reaching the tablet of the heart of the mountain, Jack bitterly discovers that he is too late. The clever, cold-hearted wizard, humanity's champion, now possesses a powerful amulet, and is one step closer to usurping the devil's rule over the world and breaking the curse. But there is still hope for our harrowing heroes. Jack's epic duel with the wizard's indentured spirit catches the attention of a magical sword, who vows to teach him greater mastery of the deadly arts. Determined to close the gap between himself and the enemy, Jack and his companions rush from the mountain and follow the wizard's trail of magic into the wilderness. Oh, we're, we're, we're floating. Okay. I kind of like it. It's Okay, we still dodge by a roll, which is a bit awkward, but Is there like a save or is it just main menu? Anyway, this is a short stream because I'm honestly just not feeling good, falling asleep, but I'm enjoying this game. May play it a little bit more tonight because yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with it, and hopefully after some sleep I won't be dead tired. You know, how that generally works. Um, do I want to buy the skeleton? I'm curious. You know, I don't know what I expected, but it was a little bit more than that. <laughs> Whatever. I'll see you later, Delta. Thank you, sorry, and Delta for being here. Um, sorry if you really wanted to watch me play Jack 2. Um, game just absolutely killed my enthusiasm for it as I played it. I'll be back later, or tomorrow, or whenever. Thank you, guys. You're the best. See you later.